No. Yes. They I do. I should, they I should come yet. out as a hacker so then everyone thinks they're a hacker. <laughs> Let's go, but, jumpy hacking. But sad pickle god, you know, she has like. Jumping. Oh my god, and they're trans. Oh my gosh, I thought it couldn't get anywhere. Hey, jump, jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. You should be. You should become the. Uh, uh, the best creator in, in the top 100 as well. Wait, wait, Jumpy, Jumpy. What the fuck did you send in voice? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is Challenged that? Challenged by Jumpy Acacia Ball. Went that Jason. What is that? <laughs> what is this? It's like Acacia Wood <laughs> that Jason. <laughs> What's the name of the person? Sad Pickle Cop? Yep. TC3000. Ooh, who I done, Jason? <laughs> Underscore wood dot Jason. What is this? I'm scared of uh, having a virus if I download this. Ooh, careful, Sully! <laughs> what the, is that literally just the Acacia Wood file? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you're giving Minecraft files. That's illegal. That was so selling cool. Minecraft. <laughs> I don't believe it. Dude, 63,000 stars and they haven't- They've not even beaten Club Step. I might beat it this attempt. I'm I sorry. 63,000 what? I'm at the end, I'm at the end. I beat it. Let's stars. go! But for the first time ever, Let's so go! see it does work. Go! The curse is broken, Sam, the curse is broken. And a hundred K stars. Let's fucking go! Really? There we go. It's, it's done. It's done. Yes. Yeah. yeah, woo, baby. That's what we're waiting for. That's what it's all about. GG. Uh, I'm going to check attempts later. Okay, 2.3K, whatever. But I'll just say. Now, time to write a question in your thing at the last moment. <laughs> Quick, 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 I gotta enter a question. Alright, I'm just gonna ask this a question. I entered the question for- I entered, I entered the worst challenge- I mean, question for it. Worth the- for mine. What do I ask Samiversal? On a Netflix and show. Thousand what? <laughs> Woo! Anyway. I'm gonna end the video for now. But no, I will continue what? with the Q and A and all that. I'll it's gonna be recorded later, but I'll. What's this? What, what, are you, what are you talking about? A hundred K? Hundred K stars? That's. It's not possible, is it? Is it? I guess it's possible because it happened. Hundred K stars. So, hey everyone, I am Sam Versal, as you can see by my voice and all, and um, I guess this is what I look like. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, I mean, this is a face reveal and all, and um, I'll be doing a lot more than just this. Like, this is a really, really big milestone for me. Like, if you told me a few years ago I would one day get 100k stars in Geometry Dash, I would have never believed it. Like, no, I would have. You, you would have told me that, I would be like, no. But I did, and that's like, wow. I just can't believe it. Like, some people, they might say, like, oh, you wasted your time and all, but, like, it doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care that I've spent all this time in the game and it's something that I'm happy I've done like some people would regret it to have spent this much time but I don't it allowed me to develop myself as a person which it sounds crazy to say that just considering you know like John Dash is a game about jumping over a spike like you'd say like who cares about this but it allowed me to know a lot more about myself, who I am, and also to meet some people that I'm really glad that are there. So, yeah. As a reward for 100k, um, I will 
um, respond to some questions I've gotten. And yeah, I would just like go through the questions and all and see what I've gotten. I personally have not seen the questions yet. I don't even know what they have. Like, I just know I've gotten roughly, like, I think 20-ish answers, almost, not, not answers, questions. Um, and, yeah, around, like, 30, 20, 30 questions. So, we'll just go through it and see what, it, what we get. So, the very first uh, question I've gotten, as I said, I have not seen the questions before. I don't know what to expect. And I'm gonna try to go through all of them, and there's some that are like really personal, I'll skip them, but otherwise I don't know what to expect. Alright, so, the very first question is uh, from Metobia, asking me, who do you think are the best mobile stat grinders? People tend to focus more on PC stat grinders, IMO, so I'm curious who you think are the best in regards on mobile. Um, I personally don't really follow much who are like the stats grinder and all on mobile i do know that metobia themselves are like pretty good as a stat grinder on mobile uh, besides that i i think the highest star count i think there was was who was it linu i think that had before he switched to pc um otherwise i, I really don't know this one like Personally, like, I'll just say, like, anyone I can think that can get, like, over 100k stars on mobile is pretty insane. Like, wow. It just blows my mind. Next question is by Oish, asking me, what are my top five favorite demons I've done? Cheers. Okay, so the five best demons I've done, that's actually a really really tough questions um, despite me not having a high demon count for my star count um, the top five best demons I've done um, oh. definitely some of the ones I've liked the most that I know like maybe they're like over the past time I've really liked blast furnace by samifying I've liked Bit Reaper by Vlack a lot. Um, an older one is Insanity by Sir Punch. Really like that. Um, now I'm at three. Uh, what else? This one's a bit controversial, but I'm gonna say Idols. Like, I've struggled a lot on Idols, but considering it took me three years to beat, I still think it's a good level, like, despite all of that. Like, it's just, I got really unlucky with it. And the final fifth level, um, I really can't tell. I'm gonna say four. I'm so I'm sorry. I really want to say five, but like those are the four levels I think that for me mark me the most. So really like insanity, blast furnace, uh, bit reaper, and idols. Anyway, next question is by Alphonix or Dauber Madman, and asks me. How many stars do I have? As of making this q and I have exactly 100,000 stars, which is, in uh, scientific notation, 10 to the power of 5. Right? I think. Yeah. yeah I, ha I have exactly 100k stars of making this, so yeah. Okay, so the next question is by someone named Space, uh, which I, I know there's a lot of space in the GD community, but it's, it's not the big famous one. <laughs> um, anyway, so asks me, what is the most hours you played in one day? Um, honestly, I don't know personally, like by heart. I'm not the kind of guy who tends to stay up for like 24 hours straight, like... I can't do that. I, I'm, I'm not able to stay up 24 hours to play a single game throughout a whole like, day. So I think the most I've spent on a single day in GD must have been around maybe 12 hours. Like I don't think I've ever done more than that. Like that, that, that would have like already like destroyed me inside. Um, another question. Um, by space also is that how likely is it for someone to starting now to get in the top 100 in stars 
this is a difficult... I mean, it's not a difficult question, but to, like... The thing is, ever since the leaderboards have been uh, refreshed and have been maintained since, the top 100 has been a lot more competitive than ever before. Right at the current moment, it is you need to have ninety thousand stars to be in the top one hundred, which is insane to have. And the the thing is, the gap will only get bigger and bigger, so it's it's only going to be worse and worse. So as a new player, unless you are really motivated to beat a crap ton of levels, it's really difficult. Like it's not just much the motivation, but it's also the fact that you have to be constantly grinding over and over. It's Really not easy. All right, the next question is from the Silent Ham asking me, "What is the least favorite level? My, my least favorite level, sorry, of each difficulty." So this is really difficult to say. Um, I'm I would need to do some research. Off of the top of my mind, I would say uh, the least favorite auto is Moonshine, which main reason I don't like it is because. I personally don't see how it's epic at all. It looks like an early 2.1 level and it just... It got, like, rated really late and it got epic somehow. I don't understand. For two stars, um... Honestly, I'm gonna go with a something, like, really dumb. I'm gonna say Extreme Disaster. For those who don't know what Extreme Disaster is, it's, like, one of the hardest two stars in the game and it, as the name implies, it's an absolute disaster. <laughs> So it really sucks. I don't like it, but it's it's dumb, but it, it, it's not good. For uh, normal three stars, um, I don't know. What's the three stars I like the least? Actually, I know. It's, um, what's it called? Super Mario Bros. 2D, I think it's called, by Takayama. Uh, like, no offense to Takayama, but, like, it's so broken of a minigame. It's unplayable. And the fact it got rated 3 stars too is just like, no, no, like, it's bad. But, as I said, it's, it's not hate to Takayama or anything for making broken controls, because I know they made other levels after that of Mario, and they've been fixed. But those ones, yeah. Anyway, um, for hard rated level, uh, what would be the hard I hate the most? Um, I honestly don't know. I can't think of a hard, like, I've been all of them, and I wouldn't know which one I've hated the most. Like, there are some bad ones out there, but the worst ones, I wouldn't remember them. As for harder rated levels, uh, what would be the harder I hate the most? Once again, I don't think I can answer that. Like, I, I don't remember for the worst, like... The worst harder that's actually I got I got one. The castle. The castle is a bad a level that is in very bad quality, and as I said, I don't blame the creator for doing that. Like I'm pretty sure they're a beginner creator. It's just a mistake that Rob Top rated it, and it's not good because of that. And it's sad that the creator got a lot of backlash out of it, but I know it's not their fault either for the level to get rated, but that's how I feel. As for insane rated levels, uh, I would probably... What is my least favorite 8 stars or 9 stars? The thing is, I don't really play a lot of 8 and 9 stars, so I wouldn't really know which ones I hate the most. Like, there are some bad ones, but there's also some good ones, and I, I wouldn't know for that. For easy demons, um... I don't know for easy demons, too, like... There's a lot of them I've done. And, okay, this one might be like easy, medium right now. I don't know, but I really did not enjoy Zafari by Rustam. Like, it looks good for early 2.1, but as the play, I had the most horrible experience ever. I despise that level. I hate it. And... For medium demons, I'm going to have to go with Verity by Sir Punch. I absolutely despise my experience with it. I just hate it. Like, it was awful. I raged on it. Like, I was destroying the level at the end while I was trying to beat it. I just did not enjoy it. For hard demon, I 
don't know what I would say I hate the most. Oh, Hard Demon. Like, there's a lot of Hard Demon, and a lot of them are just not that memorable. And none of them stick out to my mind as, like, the worst. So, I wouldn't know for this either. For Insane Demon, uh, what would be the worst Insane Demon I think I've done? Or at least that I know exists. Once again, I, I, I've done like a decent amount of Insane Demons, and they're way more memorable than Hard Demons to me. But even then, I wouldn't know. Like, at all. For Extreme Demons, uh, I'm gonna limit myself to what I've done, which is around 10 Extremes. And out of the ones I've done, I would say by far the worst is Ice Carbon Diablo X. Actually, wait, I just realized it's insane demon now. <laughs> Either way, I beat it on 60 hertz, and in my opinion, it's still worthy of extreme on 60 hertz. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna say Ice Carbon Diablo X, like worst extreme I've done, like by far. Especially like on 60 hertz, like it's not a matter of the decoration much. Like the decoration. Sure, it's a 1.6 level, but it's not bad for its time, but it does not play well. <laughs> okay, so next question is from Mike Roch. Um, asking me uh, a few questions, but I'll go one by one. So what is your go-to ratings for star grinding? Asking as I'm currently having trouble star grinding. Um, Personally, I think the best way to star grind, uh, the best rating is, I mean, it depends on your skills, definitely, but if you're skilled enough, I would say around between, like, hard and harder are usually very good. Like, most of them are really consistent, they get rated often, and they tend to not be that difficult and sight readable and all that. Like, they're a good mix. You can always go for easier difficulties, but you might not get as much out of it. And another question they ask is, do I like levels from 1.0 to 1.5? And this is like a controversial opinion, I guess, but I'm gonna say yes. Like, they can be good, it's just that the quality control back then was not the same as it is nowadays. And it's, it can be tricky to see some, like their values in them and might say like, oh, it's effortless or it's like, it's old. Like, some of them are just, they did very good for their time, it's just, to, to today's standards, they don't stand out as much. But yeah, I do like them, I would say, yes. And what is the hardest level I've uh, beaten so far? Um, definitely, actually, for a long time, ever since I've been Idols, I've been wondering myself, is Bloodbath or Idols harder? I A lot of tell me, people tell me Idols. I personally wouldn't know if it's Idols or Bloodbath, but either way, both of these are really difficult. I also have very good progress on Blade of Justice, which if I beat, I will definitely be my hardest demon. I currently have, I think, 92 or 93%. I'm really close to doing it. I was taking a break from it uh, to get the 100k stars, but now that this is done, I'll go back to it and uh, it's probably going to be done very soon. Next question is from William asking me, what is my home address and window location? What type of lock does your front door have? Do you have any additional security features to your house? I am in my house. Next question is from GD Orange uh, asking me, what is my profile picture supposed to be? I really like it. Thank you for liking it, by the way. Uh, my current profile picture is my fursona, which uh, I like, it's a weird say way to say it, but I've let people build basically my persona for me. As I'm not someone who tends to be very good in terms of coming up with stuff creatively. So I just started with like a very basic template and let people experiment on it as much as they wanted. And if I liked it, I just kept it. That, that, that's how it was. Like I've had a d different amount of people uh, and things being experimented on and it's really something that I... I'm a happy in the end. So yeah. Next question I've gotten is by Trigram asking me why? That's a very good question. Why? Just why? 
I think the answer to this is why? Or actually, I should say, why not? Next question is again by Trigram asking me, where do you get the motivation to grind stars that much? Honestly, it's mostly out of self-satisfaction. Like, I don't grind really to go far on leaderboards or something. Like, leaderboards is just an extra thing. Like, I don't really care for it. And yes, like, I just do it for the sake of doing it and just, I wouldn't say mindlessly grinding it, but sort of. It's also like a thing where I just have nothing to do really and I just try and just I have nothing better to do. It's just, it's, it's a way to pass time. That's a lot of things I do, it's just passing time. You know? um, next question is again by Oish asking me, what was it like being in that storm or tornado while in bonkers? So for context, uh, not that long ago, maybe like a month ago, not even, uh, I, my town got hit by basically a storm, or like a really big storm, or almost a tornado, and it's like one of the first times this ever happens in my town, and people were freaking out over it. Uh, from my side, it was a bit scary, definitely, but I wasn't really worried or anything. I knew things would go well and all, I wasn't worried for that. But definitely it was difficult and it was weird to see this kind of things that we know are going to happen more and more often here. Next question is by Creator Creepy asking me, what is my favorite difficulty to, uh, for of stars to grind? And as I've said before, I think the best difficulty to grind stars is like in the range of like four to six or seven stars. Like going a bit higher, I would not try to constantly like I can't speak <laughs> I'm so bad yeah I would not try to go there if like with like eight stars and nine stars to grind because they tend to be really inconsistent and difficulty some of them are really easy some of them are really hard and like I just prefer just playing it on the go and just well not on the go but you know like I like to not do practice runs and all and some of those levels do require practice runs and, yeah and any creators you found fun specifically for grinding? There are a few creators I really enjoy um, to beat their levels, uh, like for star grinding and all. Uh, a few of those that I can think of are um, Split72, Bunch, um, who else? There's also Edukes that I like. Um, Bizarre, I think, also makes good levels, I think. And yeah, there, there's a few of them. I wouldn't be able to name all of them because there is a, honestly a lot of creators that are good for that, but those are a few of my favorite ones. HaxQL next asks me, how did you discover GD? Is there a story behind it? Um, the story behind me discovering GD dates from a very long time ago when I still was in high school because I don't know if you know, but I'm 21. <laughs> um, Basically, how it all started was a friend of mine in high school was playing that game on his phone uh, after class called Geometry Dash, and I thought it was interesting and all. So, uh, eventually got the light version, then eventually the full version, and originally it was really fun what we were doing together. We were racing on some of the official levels and trying to beat them, like who would beat them first. The first level I ever beat before him was Time Machine. And like, it was the first time I had been like him to a race to beat a level. And it was really fun. And like, it wasn't back in like 1.8 when 1 1.8 was released. And then eventually 1.9 released. And we had a lot of fun like learning everything about it and like discovering it. It was really a classic. This friend of mine moved out of town but I've recently talked back to him, like I got contact with him and I've shown him everything I've done in GD and he's just amazed at how much like I've gone far and sticked in there and like I don't blame him, it's crazy. Like not everyone would have that motivation but he's happy that I'm able to do that kind of things. Um, next thing, next question is by Metaton asking me, what's my favorite animal? This, I mean, as my first one as a wolf, I guess, sure, but as an actual animal I really like, that's really difficult to say. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go very cheesy and just say cats. I love cats, especially my cat. <laughs> he's, he's a cutie. I'm gonna send, here, here's a, like a small picture of him I'm gonna send right there. Like, 
He's cute. He's adorable. He's also a tornado. We hate him. No, we don't. <laughs> he's just special. <laughs> okay, next question is by Fozard asking me, do you have an end goal with GD? Is, like, is there a specific level you want to be, star count you want to get, or anything you want to achieve before stopping playing the game? Personally, I don't really have end game goals for GD. I just do whatever I feel like I'm doing. Definitely, if there are levels I would like to beat one day, there are two levels that are, like, I think completely out of my skill range right now, but I would love to do, which are Plasma Pulse Finale and Spectrum Cyclone. I would love to do those levels one day. It's, like, I already have some progress on Plasma Pulse Finale, but I really want to do those. They, they seem like great levels and all, and just, yes. Next question is... Why is your demon count so low? You definitely have time to beat this many demons, you're at 100k stars, and you definitely have the skills, so why don't you beat as many? That is a good question, and that is true that for my star count, my demon count is really low. Like, I think in the top 100, I'm like in the people that have like the top 10 of the least demons in the top 100 stars. Like, it's crazy. But the reason I don't have this many is just, I don't feel the need to, honestly. Like, it's... I'm not saying I don't like demons, but I feel like grinding them removes some satisfaction out of them. Like, I prefer playing harder demons. Like, not necessarily the, like, super, super hard, but, like, challenge myself once in a while, do, like, a bit harder levels. Not just grind easier demons for the sake of doing them. Like, I, I don't really enjoy that. And that's really why I think I have this low demons. Like, I have, like... Despite me having like 600 demons, I have like, I think like what, 80 something insane demons and like 10 extremes. So yeah, it really shows like how I feel about those. Next question I'm asked is by someone named The Board asking me, do you be Farden? I will answer this by saying one thing. I'm human. So yes. Next, I have a few questions from someone named TJ13 asking me, um, one of the things asking me is, can you show us some amazing pictures of Griffin? For those who don't know, Griffin is my cat, and sure, I will show some nice little pictures of him. And like, yeah, he's a cutie. He's a cutie. He's also a devil sometimes. Um, do you like? He also asks me, do you like campfires, camping, or outdoor of any kind? Um, sadly, I am not really a kind of guy that likes to go outdoor, like, I have really bad experiences with those. Like, mosquitoes just bite me constantly everywhere, I have huge reactions to them, I, I just don't like going out there. And, yeah. Um, and, on, and the last question they're asking me is, do you have a motorcycle license? Uh, sadly, no, I don't even have my, like, regular driving license. I'm 21, I don't I haven't even started. Like, I need to do that. Like, I can't take the bus and all, but, like, it's something I really n wish I could do. At least get, like, a, a driving license. Maybe not a motorcycle license, like, I'm not really interested in that, but yeah, just driving regularly. Like, I would really enjoy it. Reganix asks me, when have you first started playing Geometry Dash? This is... As I said, it's been a long time since I started playing back in one, like mid 1.8, and it, I think it was in what 2014, I think, or something. And back then, I was like what 13, 14. I'm 21 now. It's crazy. Like time flies. It's crazy. Aiden SH asks me, "What got you into playing GD, and what keeps you playing?" Um, as I said before, like. What got me into playing GD was really to see my friend play next to me and all, and just like starting from there, and then we like had competition. Competition. Je parle trop français. Um, but like, yeah, it's just like we started like just competing and trying to figure out who could beat the like the raw top levels first and all. It was really fun, and what keeps me playing honestly is boredom i'll be honest like it's just i don't have much else to do like I, sure i do have a job and all and i do go to school at college but outside of that i don't do much and that's why i played this much because it's a good way to kill time next question is by x honeybee asking me do you have any plans to go further and when do you think you will ultimately stop assuming you ever will do as i said i like don't really have any like 
end goals of GD. Like, sure, achieving 100k stars is insane, but, like, will I continue to go further? Yes, I, I think I will, unless I can't anymore, but, yeah, I'll continue. When will I stop? I don't know, but what are my plans? I don't know either. I'll just do what I feel like doing. Next question is by Fix Your Gameplay asking me, it's not really a question, but just congrats on 100k, man. I mean, thank you. It's crazy to just, like, have gone that far over all those years. Like, it's just, wow. Like, insane. Next question is by Lava Dash asking me, What is your opinion on the Extreme Demon Marathon by Rio Rio Tio? I will judge you as a person based on this response. I absolutely hate no. I no. A marathon seems fine. Like it's it's old styled. Sure, a lot of people don't like that, but I think it it does it in a decently well way, and like yeah, it just works well for a thing. And yeah, is it memory? Sure, but it, it seems to do it like in a good way. I do like memory when it's done well, and I think I haven't tried marathon much, but from what I know, it does memory well. Next question is by Xander asking me if you could have redirected all your time putting into grinding stars into one hobby or skill, what would it be? That is a very tricky question. I don't know if I would be able to answer it, but I've always been like this kind of guy who like just does whatever he feels like doing. I've, I've never really had many hobbies. However, one thing I do like a lot is cars, like especially like little cars collections and all, like it's something I've always liked. And maybe I would have collected more of them? I don't know. Next question is by Zultronics asking me, how did you find the game or get into Star Grinding? I've already asked, basically answered the first question, but uh, the second one, how did I get into Star Grinding? It's sort of weird, like for me, I've never really considered myself that much of a star grinder, even though I basically am. What really got me into this is just me being like the completionist type of guy. Like, I, it started with me trying to beat all autos, then when I was done, I went with all two stars, then three stars, then hards, and now I'm trying to do all harders, and that's just how it went. That's, that's how it, it went. Uncool Dash asks me, did Bill Clinton have sexual relations with that woman? Bill Clinton. What if I know who Bill Clinton is? What if he's in my basement? Next question is by Slackers asking me what or inspired me to star grind and what is my motivation to play GD? As I've sort of said, like, there's nothing really that inspired me to star grind. I just do whatever I feel like doing, just wasting time and just boredom, I guess. And just with time, just being like the completionist I sort of am, is just slowly working my way to trying to do everything possible. And it sort of is the same with what is the motivation that I got to play Genie. Next question is by Zach of All Trades asking me, how much money would it take for you to design my persona? So when they meant my first son, they meant theirs, which, um, I don't know, actually. If you want, from what I know, with everything that's furry related, um, getting some art of it is not too expensive. Sometimes if you're lucky with your friends, you can do it for free. Like, I've gotten most of my art for free. But if you want to, like, get, like, a fursuit or something, good luck. It costs, as far as I know, it costs a few thousand dollars. It's really expensive. Last question that I've gotten is by Soli asking me what are, what are my thoughts on the current state of the game and is 2.2 gonna revolutionize the game or the opposite? So currently GD is in a really weird state like it has had basically no updates in several years besides some very small things like leaderboards updating or like I can't think of anything else. Um, but I really don't know, like, the, the state is really, like, it's in an odd state where we don't know what's gonna happen next. Definitely with Robtop showing some, like, features and trying to update the game, the free games and all, like, stuff's rolling, but what direction is it taking? I don't know. And is 2.2 gonna revolutionize the game? 
I don't know, honestly. Like, it might, it might not, I, I don't know if I can decide. Like, a lot of people already tried the leaks of the 2.2 editor, and I think they can do some cool stuff, I guess, but it's definitely something we're gonna have to get used to. Same with, like, when 2.1 was released, when 2.0 was released, and all those kinds of things, like, they blew people's mind. We had to get used to them and all. So this is all the questions I've gotten. Once again, I am so thankful for everyone who supported me and like thank you for like just being around me and all. It's been a great adventure and it's not over. It's just we're just starting and just I'm glad to be here with all of you. Anyway, that was a pretty long video. Uh, like I'll be honest, the raw footage of just this session of questions is over. Uh, 35 minutes. It's really long, but yeah. Anyway, that was it. My name is Sammy Versal, and I'll see you again. Bye!